Praise the Lord, church. I'd like to welcome everyone back to another online service. As the pastor says, hope that everyone's staying saved and safe. I'd just like to go over a few quick announcements for everyone. Remember, if you have any prayer requests, names to add to the prayer list, or any praise reports, please send those to cljcrequests at gmail.com. Uh, since we're unable to pass around the, the fasting calendar, please continue up to do your, your normal dates. Uh, if you're feeling extra generous, you know, throw a few extra meals on there. Well, we need fasting 24-7 during this time. Uh, remember when all of our videos drop, uh, it's 8 a.m. on YouTube for Sundays, 10 a.m. on Facebook for Sunday service. Uh, Brother Thomas's lessons on Wednesdays are available on Wednesday at 5 p.m. on both platforms, as well as our Sunday school lessons that drop on Friday night are available on YouTube and Facebook at 5 p.m. Uh, just want to continue to let everyone know that while we're down here, we're continuing to pray over the names in the box, the soldiers, everything that the elders prayed for when we had service. We're continuing to pray for those things. And also the pastor is continuing to read out the names on the prayer list, and he's continuing to pray for them daily. Lastly, we just want to continue to thank everyone that makes this possible. Uh, thank the choir for the songs. Thank Brandon Need for opening their house up to me. I uh, thank for, for everyone that gets the messages ready, those who are down here recording, everyone that edits, uploads, and any part that you played in this. We just want to thank everyone. We thank the pastor for trusting us to do this, and most of all, we want to thank God for making this possible. So. If you guys need anything, need help with anything, need someone to talk to, just if you need anything at all, just reach out to us, call, text, email, stop by, whatever it is. We love you guys. We want to help you, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you. A long time ago, Lazarus died, all hope seemed gone as his sisters cried. But Jesus walked to where he lay, he called his name, and he came out of the grave. Oh, then, oh, then, where is thy sting, oh, grave, where is thy victory, you thought you had? Praise the Lord, church. Give Jesus a big hand. Praise God. We honor you, Lord. We thank you, God, for your mercy and grace, God, upon us all, Lord. We praise you, God, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. You're our Savior, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. We praise you, God. We honor you, God, for all your mercy and grace, God, your healing power, your saving power, God. And Lord, all the things you've done through the years, bless us all physically, mentally, financially, spiritually, and health-wise, God. We thank you for blessing the church, God. Hallelujah. Bless us all, God. And we thank you, Lord, for all your mercy and grace. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus.
Well, I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe out there and safe too. And I miss y'all. Uh, the most greatest holiday is coming up uh, today, rather. It's the resurrection of Jesus. If there wasn't no resurrection, there'd be no reason for us to be here. Amen. We don't want to miss that when it comes our time. Amen. It's not about bunnies and Easter eggs. Amen. It's for the saints of God. It's our escape from death. Woo, glory. It's our escape from death. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's about us being transformed from this old world to eternal heaven. Amen. Eternal life. Praise God. I want to say our hearts go out to Brother Pat and Sister Eaton and the families, the death of Pat's mother, Peggy, and everybody do remember them and their prayers and keep them in and all other things that's been going on. I hope all's going well for Brother Jay and his family and also Brother David Gardner up in Michigan. Nothing changes We, with the COVID gets worse or anything. We're planning on trying to have in-church service the 24th of April. We have to do some church mo beach moving and we're going to move some forward and do some things that we can to so we can meet the laws. Now, we're not going against the law and what we're doing. We have to apply by it because I wouldn't been out this long if it hadn't have been for that. It wasn't COVID that scared me. It's the Word of God. And I'm afraid of the Word of God. And I want to abide in the Word. He said, if my words abide in you and you abide in me, ask what you will and it shall be done. So it's all about the Word of God and what we're here for anyway. Amen. Amen. But anyway, we, done, we ordered a Baptist baptistry <laughs> for out back and we're buying a building and brother jb you can tell your grandmother we bought that just for her, <laughs> <laughs> her. amen praise the lord amen praise the lord and getting the building off the amish to put it in so anyway we cold times comes there are old people things we could use hit don't have to use a creek, but I, like, I don't want to go away from the creek, 100%. Amen. I don't. I love the creek. But anyway, we thank God for everyone that's out there. I hope you're, like I said, staying safe and staying saved, and that everybody will have a desire, concern, deal to serve God, because that's all this world is about, is serving the Lord. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, God, for the mercy and grace and blessings upon us, God. We thank you, Lord God, for your healing power, God. We thank you, Lord, for deliverance, Lord. We thank you, God, that you chose us, God. We didn't choose you. You chose us, God. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings you've had upon the church, God. You've blessed us throughout these years, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. We praise you, God, and we honor you, Lord. We actually touch everybody out there, God, the sick and afflicted, God. God. Those that's trouble, God. Those that's had COVID, God. All these healthcare workers and all the military and missionaries, God. Everyone that's out there doing the work for you, God. Hallelujah. Doing the work for the people, God. We ask the hand upon them, God. And we praise God, the mercy and grace upon them. Father, in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, yay. And amen. Give God a big hand for it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. I like to read... Today, which, like I said, it's becoming the resurrection sun tomorrow, today, rather. And uh, anyway, out of Luke chapter 24, verses 1 through 12, it says, Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came into the sepulcher, bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher. And they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass as they were much perplexed thereabout. Behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces on the earth, they said unto them, Why seek you the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words, and returned from the sepulcher, and told these things unto the eleven, and to all the rest. And it was Mary Magdalene, and Joanna, and Mary, the mother of James, and other women that were with them, which told them these things unto the apostles. And their words seemed to them as tales, idle tales, 
and they believed them not. Then arose Peter and ran unto the sepulchre, and stooping down, he beheld the linen cloths laid by themselves, and departed, one or near himself, as that was, was come to pass. Then I want to go to Isaiah. Chapter 14, and read from verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which did weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into the heavens. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will set up also on the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pits. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee, and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms, that made the world a wilderness, and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house of his prisoners? Is this him? Today I like the title of my text. Why seek you the living among the dead? Today we're celebrating the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the reason we're here today. As the Apostle Paul told the church at Corinth, but if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen. And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching in vain. And your faith also is vain. But we know our faith is based upon that old empty tomb that they sing. And Jesus lives, and we, by the power of the Holy Ghost, His Spirit, we do not seek the living amongst the dead. We're looking, amen, for the living and not the dead. We're not looking to die, amen, we're looking to live, amen, praise the Lord. Even though we might be put in the ground, we're still alive in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I, I used two men here. Both were spirits. Both came from heaven. Both became man. Jesus was God in the flesh. Lucer, he was a light bearer, but he's going to become Satan, the man of sin. Amen. One rising and one fallen. God gave power to man to make choices. We can choose the man of sin or we can choose the man Christ Jesus. Amen. We can choose good or evil, right or wrong, life or death. It's up to us. The resurrection of Jesus gives that second choice. Aren't you glad he raised, hallelujah, from the dead? He gives us a chance to eternal life. We can choose life and not death. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you need a Savior, you need to be saved from something. You need Jesus to be saved. Amen. We need to be rising. We don't need Satan. If you distinguish between the two, one is rising and the other is falling. And I want to be with the one that's rising. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to be amongst the living, not amongst the dead. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus was born of woman, Mary, that he could be like unto us. He grew up like unto us all. At 12 years old, he sat in the temple with the priest. Thing. And his mother and them had been there in Jerusalem and they had left. And they'd been gone a couple of days, and they found out that he wasn't with them. And she comes back, and she finds him in the temple, and she asks him, what's going on? He said, I must be about my father's business. The next step being, he was baptized of John. Then, led by the Spirit into the wilderness, where he was tempted for 40 days. He came out and went back to the synagogue in Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And he, as his custom was, he went to read. The Bible said the book of prophets Isaiah was handed to him, and he found a place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, Amen. to preach deliverance to the captives, and to recover the sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Amen. He said, This day, is this scripture 
fulfilled in your ears. Hallelujah. Amen. People don't want to list it, things, praise God. But he said this day, these scriptures are fulfilled in your ears. Amen, praise the Lord. But we better be worrying about the Word of God. Amen, because if we read it, it's fulfilled in our ears. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Then Jesus' ministry started, where he led all the way from that time up to the upper room, where we recognize the last supper here on earth. He told his disciples, with desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. I will not eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Things was taking a turn. Just like all the times of ministry, crowds was following him, thousands was following him. He was doing miracles, he was healing, and they all wanted to be there and everything. Because he was doing all these things. But one day there wasn't no fishes or loaves. He just began to teach. And they started walking off from him. And he turned around and looked at the disciples and said, Why don't y'all leave too? Hallelujah. Peter said, Work and we go. But Jesus was saying, Amen. Praise the Lord. If I have to start over, I'm building a church. And I need somebody. Hallelujah. That'll go all the way from here up to the upper room. And not stop at the upper room. Hallelujah. But go all the way to the grave. Hallelujah. And come back. Hallelujah. Triumph. And come to the tomb. Amen. Praise the Lord. And Peter said, where can we go? Thou has the words to eternal life. He's the one God gave the keys to the kingdom of heaven. But Peter, Peter stood up and said, amen, you have the words. So only Jesus has the words. Satan's words are dead words. Jesus' words are life. He said, my words, they are life and they are spirit. Je they had been subservient. They thought Jesus was coming down to set his kingdom up here on earth. They had been subservient to the Roman Empire. And they thought Jesus was going to start a kingdom here on earth. And now they were going to be in charge. Only to hear him say, I will not eat no more. Another till we do it in the kingdom of God. I got to leave. I got to depart. No doubt they were stunned. I mean, you know, if you had a leader and you'd been following for three years and all of a sudden he says to you, amen, I got to leave. I got to go away. I must suffer. I got to be taken out and killed. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. No wonder, hallelujah. They wondered what in the world was going on. Praise the Lord. But I'll tell you one thing, hallelujah. Amen. He said, the one that betrays me sitting right here at this table. I want to tell you one thing, hallelujah. Sometimes there are people that sitting right in the church uh, betraying Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. They're seeking the dead. Hallelujah. Not seeking the living. We better be seeking God because only His Word, His Word is what's living. Amen. We we understand that the worlds were framed by the Word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. It's the Word of God that's going to take us through. Hallelujah. We've got to hold on to the Word. Hallelujah. Jesus looked over at Peter and he said, Simon, Simon, Satan has desired to have you. He wants to sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith fail you not. Peter said, Lord, I'm ready. I'm ready to go to prison with you. I'm ready to die for you. <laughs> Jesus looked at him and said, Before the cock crows thrice, thou shalt deny me thrice this day. I want to stop right there just a minute. I've looked or had a lot of flack, heard a lot of rumors of people, me stopping a sermon together, you know, that I wasn't abiding by his word. You hear a lot of sayings going on all the time, way with you, like Peter. But it comes time when the chips are down on the table. It's going to be another thing. Are you going to stand for the word? Amen. Are you going to stand for the word? A shout ain't going to get you into heaven. No, Woo, glory. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Yeah. Obey, hallelujah, amen. And the scriptures in Jeremiah says, if you can't stand for the word in time of peace, what are you going to do in the swelling of Jordan? If you can't run with the footman, what are you going to do when the horses come? 
People don't think. Uh, I mean, we got people now saying, amen, this COVID shot, amen, is a mark of the beast. Uh, brother, you ain't seen the mark of the beast yet, amen. Now, yeah, there's coming a time. Brother, you got to be rooted and grounded into the Word of God. Hallelujah. You ain't going to be like Peter. Hallelujah. When they told him he's risen and they thought it idle tales. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. It ain't going to be idle tales uh, when the mark of the beast comes. Amen. Hallelujah. When he does come, that man of sin revealed and he turns out his wrath upon it, out the world, things is going to change. It's going to take a turn just like it did in that upper room. Things is going to change. Satan hasn't turned his wrath upon the saints yet. Daniel chapter 7 tells us, even but not in the chronicle order, he said, Daniel, hear that the saints will possess the kingdom. And he didn't quite understand about that beast and the horns and them doing all things. And Daniel said, I stated then, to know the truth of the fourth beast and the, and the horn. And I beheld the same horde that made war with the saints and prevailed against them. What's that in there for? Also, he said, he would speak great works against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Well, we ain't wore out today, amen, hallelujah. It's like Brother Dwayne said, we've been, we've been doing good in church, amen, hallelujah. And I hope everybody out there is staying safe and staying saved, hallelujah, amen. Ain't getting wore out. We get wore out now. You talk about when he comes, when he turns his wrath up on us, you're really going to get wore out, hallelujah, amen, praise the Lord. Woo, glory, hallelujah. I thank God I can shout in my living room. I thank God I can shout outside. I thank God I can shout because I got the word, hallelujah, amen. It's the word of God that's going to take us through. Woo, glory to God. We're not seeking the living amongst the dead, hallelujah. If you're living dead, hallelujah, amen, then you ain't going to have Glory to God, you ain't going to have his power. We need power. You have to have power in the last days. Staying home a little while is going to affect you. You, you. you got messed up. Speak word gain. He said, also, he said, he would speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. But then he says, until the ancient of days come. When Jesus comes, hallelujah, amen, then we're going to possess the kingdom, hallelujah, amen. When the word comes, hallelujah, amen, sometimes we just have to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Sometimes, hallelujah, we just have to wait upon the Lord, hallelujah. The Bible said, wait, wait, I say on the Lord, hallelujah. I don't know what's going on, hallelujah. I've I, I never seen such turmoil, hallelujah. I've never seen such spending money in our nation. I have seen all the nations, hallelujah, as pestilence all over the place, hallelujah. I haven't seen, I don't know what's going on, but I know one thing, Jesus is in charge, hallelujah. I know one thing, the living is in charge. The dead ain't in charge. I'm not looking to them to do it. Woo, glory, hallelujah. To the ancient of days come, Jesus. Then judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. Hallelujah. And the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. Just like I said in the upper room, things took a turn. We better be prepared for the word. Things down here is going to take a turn. You going to be ready for them? I mean, they're going to be... You know, many times... Jesus alluded to his death to them. But all their interest was, was in good victories. All theirs was in miracles, feeding. But it come time for Jesus to carry out the plan. No, they didn't have no part with that. They didn't, amen, they left. They left him, all of them left. Even Peter did deny him. Hallelujah. When things get hard... Are you going to leave Jesus? Hallelujah. When you can't go to church or you can't shout, hallelujah, you're still in the church. Hallelujah. The church ain't, ain't where you go. It's who you are. Hallelujah. Amen. When you begin to think uh, that you've got to be somewhere shouting, hallelujah, with a crowd, uh, hallelujah, something's wrong with you. Brother, you better be able to shout when you're alone because sometimes you're going to be alone when death comes, when choices come, when things of the mark of the beast come. Amen. Hallelujah. You're going to have to make a choice. Are you going to choose life or are you going to choose death? I'm looking for the living. 
and not the dead. Hallelujah. Shouting, not going to prepare you for the mark of the beast. Only the word will. So don't be looking for the living among the dead. Jesus had told them, I will tear this tabernacle down. And I will raise it up in three days. He was talking of his body. We know the facts that the temple was torn down. And Jesus was buried in that tomb. And the scriptures during that time, Jesus' body in a tomb. That Jesus went and preached to those souls which were sometimes disobedient during the days of Noah. Thank God he's got mercy and grace. Sometime during the days of Noah. And I believe the same thing had happened then. I believe old Satan was having a party. I believe he thought I've overcome. Right. Amen. I, they done put him in the tomb. They hung him on the cross. They took him down, put him in the tomb. But he didn't know that was the plan of God. Hallelujah. Things were still going on. Jesus was still preaching. That's just the way it is. Yeah, things are shut down, but we're still preaching. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. They, like Brother Dwayne said, they ain't cut out an hour or mesh a dog or nothing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And if you can't say of God, stand in your house sometimes. Hallelujah. You ain't saved. Is that all right? I love shouting. I love to assemble ourselves together. And that much more as we see a day approaching. But sometimes that you, you just got to do what the Lord said, what the Word says. And Jesus went and preached to those souls. And I believe Jesus went, amen, praise the Lord. I believe they heard a knock at the door of hell. I believe he's in hell having a party. He done told everybody, I, things have changed. I'm going to be in charge. I'm going to sit be like the most high. I've done accomplished what I've done. He was looking at the man, the man part of Jesus. Wasn't looking at the spirit part where they come from before. He, he was in heaven with him. Satan knew who God was. The Bible said Satan believed in one God and trembled. He knows who he is. He knows who Jesus was. But he thought he got messed up too. If I can just kill that body... I'll take care of it. But that didn't work. He's probably quoting the words that Isaiah quoted. O oh, Lucifer, for thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into the heavens. I will exalt myself a throne above the stars of God. I will set upon the mount of congregation. I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. I will be like the Most High. No doubt why the party's going on, like I said, a door, a knock come at the door. He said, send somebody to see who that is. He said, that's that Jesus that you thought was dead. He's very much alive. And he's standing out there with his hand out. Give me the keys. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Give me the keys. The disciples, when he heard he was risen, at their words seemed to be as idle tales. And they believed them not. Three days, just three days apart from Jesus. And he had told them all these things, but they wasn't listening at them. That's the way it is. A lot of people are going to church and ain't listening at nothing. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God, I believe if we had to hear every word and put every word in our heart, hallelujah, that there wouldn't be a sick among us. There wouldn't be a feeble one, hallelujah. I believe, hallelujah, we would have the power and the demonstration of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I believe the church would get back, hallelujah, with the power, hallelujah, that God gives to the church at the Pentecost, hallelujah. Amen. The church ain't changed, hallelujah. Jesus ain't changed. Nothing's changed but people. People's changed. And they believe them not. Why don't you go to Hebrews? I'm, uh, no, verse 14. It says, For as much then as the children are partakers of the flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy them that had the power of death. That is the devil. Now, right there it tells you. Satan had the power of death. But thank God I read over in Revelation, said, I am the first. 
I am the last. I am he that was dead and now liveth. And I hold the key. I live forevermore. And I hold the keys to both death and hell. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, praise God. I'm glad Satan ain't got the keys to death no more. Hallelujah. We don't have to seek the living among the dead. Hallelujah. Amen. We're the living. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We don't have to think it. <sighs> Glory to God. John on the Isles of Patmos stayed when I saw him, I fell at his feet dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first. And the last, I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I'm alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell. Satan had the power over death. But now, I have the keys both to hell and death. Pull up those scriptures. I preached a message. Here a while back about, uh, but we see Jesus. Pull up Hebrews, the scriptures I got on that. It said, for the, unto the angels hath he not put in subjection the world to come whereof we speak. He said he ain't, he ain't give the angel charge over heaven. He didn't give that to them. But one in a certain place, this is talking about David, testified, saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him? Of the son of man that thou visit him? Thou madest him a little lower than the angels. Thou crownest him with glory and honor, and did set him over the works of thy hands. He gave us power over the works of his hands. Paul said he put us into subject. Thou hast put all things subject unto his feet. For in that he put all in subjection unto him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. But we see Jesus, <laughs> who was made a little lower than the angels, for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that by the grace of God should taste death for every man. Just leave it right there, man. <laughs> he tasted death for every one of us. We don't have to be seeking the living amongst the dead. We done had somebody that took death for us. We can have life and have it forevermore. Hallelujah. We don't have to worry, amen, about going to the graveyard. Hallelujah. Because, amen, when we, I, we, the Bible said, amen, that our spirit goes back to God who gave it. And crown with glory. Put the next it up. For it became him for whom are all things, and by him are all things, in bringing many sons to the glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. For both he that sanctify and that he who sanctify are all of one, for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren saying, I will declare thy name unto the brethren in the midst of the church will I sing praises unto thee. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, behold, I and the children which God hath given me. For as much sin as the children are partakers of the flesh and blood, he also likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy that power of death, that is the devil. Hallelujah. Amen. Through his suffering. He, oh, praise God. People didn't even know, hallelujah. Things had made a change, hallelujah. But Jesus was just going according to plan, hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. He went when he went down. He had to get back into the heart of the earth and preach to those souls, hallelujah. He's got things going on. If something ain't happening in your life that you think, just wait on the Lord, hallelujah. Amen. Just wait on him, hallelujah. He will renew you strength. But praise God. Oh, thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I appreciate you, Jesus. I honor you, God. I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank you, God, that you destroyed you destroyed death. Hallelujah. Amen. And everybody that wants to have life can have it. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's up to us. It's up to us to do it. Amen. Hallelujah. By the grace of God. And that other man, the man of sin, Lucifer, Satan, the devil, the one said he would exalt himself above the stars of God, that he would be like the Most High. The Bible said he's going to be brought down to hell to the sides of the pits. And all you out there 
that won't turn your life over to Jesus. If you don't, Scripture says, when you go to be with the devil, then you'll look up on him, narrowly look at him, but say, is this the man? Is this the man that shook nations? Is this the man that destroyed cities? Is this the man that made a drug addict out of me? Is this a man that destroyed my family? Is this the man that killed my children? Is this the man that caused me to be in the shape I am? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, God, hallelujah. I want to be rising. I don't want to be fallen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want to be rising, you better choose to Jesus today. He done went into the grave. He done come out triumphantly. Hallelujah. Amen. And now has the keys both to death, hell, and the grave. Hallelujah. Hey, how about shot of Okotaya? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. This is the man. Here's the greatest and worst. Uh, and he said to man, is this the man that did not open the doors to his prisons? Is this the man that has got you in captive? Is this the man? I look at people sometime and I'm like prophet was Hezekiah. He said, I sat down where they sat. There I remained astonished for seven days. I look at some people sometime and I wonder how in the world he's been. There's, I don't see no way out for Israel. God told Israel one time, he said, listen, if you swear that the Lord liveth in truth and judgment and righteousness, Thou shalt not be removed. If you'll just turn around, make a change in your life, make something turn, hallelujah. The Bible said, amen. He sat there seven days astonished, not looking like there wasn't no way out. And it looks like for some people there is no way out. But brother, if you turn your life 100% over to Jesus, hallelujah, there is a way out. He said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life, hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. We got the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. That's the thing, hallelujah. If we begin to think what power we have, hallelujah, we got this. Jesus said, I go away. He said, but occupy till I come. We're supposed to take charge, hallelujah. Amen. For all things. Only way out, you're not going to find the living among the dead. Only one to let you out that hell hole that you're living in where Satan has got you captive. The only way out is that man, Christ Jesus, who shed his blood on Calvary, died and buried but rose on the third day. Now holds the key, both hell and death. Scripture said Jesus tasted death for every man. All men. All of us. Like I said before. Satan knew that Jesus was God. In the flesh. But as a man he figured he'd be limited in power. He thought at the tomb everything's going my way. He didn't know that the death and burial resurrection was getting ready to happen. And it, not only that, but it was going to give man power over him. That power that came out of that grave. Jesus said, I give you power. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Hallelujah. I give you power. He that thought was going to set up on the mound of the congregation, that thought he was going to be over this church. Hallelujah. Our congregation. Hallelujah. He has no power. Hallelujah. We have the power. Man has power over Satan now given to us by the Lord. Only the resurrection power. We see things going on now in the nations. But that resurrection power for us, everything's going to work out to the good of them that love the Lord and called according to his purpose. As Peter said, where can we go? 
Where can we go, Jesus? Thou has the words to eternal life. And that's it, church. The Word. The Word that was made flesh and dwelt among us. Don't forget about the Word of God. That's the most precious thing. Hadn't been for the Word, Jesus wouldn't have raised. Because His Word said, I'll tear this tabernacle down and I'll build it again. Three days. And it happened. If we just take that word and live by that word and die by that word, then we'll have to worry about seeking the living among the dead. We have the power of God. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I want all of you, amen, praise the Lord, to pray that God will give us wisdom and knowledge, understanding. We don't want to do nothing against God. I tell him every night, you're the head of this church. And I thank God I don't have no big I am, I'm this, I'm that. We're just all together. Like I want to look at you and John Lee and Thomas and all of Dwayne does teaching, does preaching, everything. I appreciate y'all. But one thing, never forget. God made you who you are. And you are who you are. And don't try to be like this and there be like that. And be yourself. That's the way God made you. That's your car. made you a purpose. Hallelujah. I had to, that's a hopeless time I had when I started out. I seen people with big churches and things like that. And I knew I could do things. But I never worried about that. I thought I'm going to worry about the Word of God. I'm going to stick to the Word of God, hallelujah. Whatever God gives us, we'll take. And if He don't give us nothing, we'll preach in a brush arbor. Hallelujah, amen. All I want to do is see souls saved. I want to see people, hallelujah, living. I don't want to see them dead, hallelujah, amen. And you can get yourself to where you get yourself from living to death, hallelujah. Turned over. I love you. And I can't say much, hallelujah, that I hope everyone here no, a judge can give a murderer life here on earth. I mean, he can release him. It's supposed to be death sentence. But only Jesus' word has life eternal. God bless you. Father, we thank you, Jesus, for your word. We thank you, God, for the mercy and grace, God. We thank you for that resurrection power, God. Hallelujah, that brought you out of the grave, that same spirit. That was in you. If it's in us, it's going to quicken our mortal bodies, God. It's going to bring us out. Hallelujah. And we know, like you said, Jesus, if we believe, hallelujah, Lord, even though we were dead, yet shall we live again. But if we really believe, we shall never die. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's the salvation that we want. That's the promise that we want, that we shall never die. I'm not meaning leaving this old world, but I'm meaning God. Hallelujah. Amen. That we'll be alive with Jesus. Amen. Forevermore. Give him a big hand. God bless you. I love you all. I appreciate you. Like I said, God bless you. Hope you have a happy Easter. And don't make it about bunny rabbits and Easter eggs. It's the most powerful piece of history or words in the scriptures. Because if he hadn't have come out of that grave, we would not be here today. There would be no change, no hope. We'd be like Satan falling in that pit. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord.
Dark. 